if you think of the internet like an iceberg, and I, I really hate this analogy, but it seems to make the most sense, uh, we only know about a small portion of the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web that we don't know about is called the Deep Web, and that just means stuff that the search engines can't find. A website that's not searchable because there's no, no ability for what's a, called a website crawler to look at and view. That's all what the dark deep web is. Nothing bad, nothing scary. It's just a spot that you can't search to. Um, but within the deep web is what we quote unquote call the dark web. And again, I hate these analogies. But the dark web is where bad things can happen. Uh, where people can, can sell or buy or, or do illegal legal things within the dark web. So that's that. So then there's tools that you can use to view websites that are, that are on the deep web. Again, they can be good. So uh, one tool is called a Tor browser, uh, where it consists of basically an entry node, a relay node, and an exit node. And the way the browser works is it helps anonymize you in such a way that you'll bounce between different connections until you get to your destination. So if at any point one of those spots was compromised, you wouldn't really be, no one would really know where you came from or where you were going, just the, the next stops on the hop, almost like a train station. Um, Tor is made up by volunteers running uh, relay servers, so these little hops so you can bounce around. Um, people use Tor for really amazing things, so such as people in China, if they want to access websites that they can't access normally, uh, Tor browser lets you do it. It allows you to kind of post, quote, again, anonymously, uh, in air quotes, uh, on different social sites. However, or it's different, different bulletin sites, I should say. However, if you're using Tor browser to log into your Facebook to post things, you're kind of defeating the whole purpose of using the Tor browser because you're using a system that can identify you. 